Well then, as promised, Tony Mills and Steve Harris from Shy. Hello, boys. Hello. Hello. Nice to see you again after the meatloaf tour. How did it go? Really good. Did really, you know really, really good. Yeah, yeah excellent. excellent. You were telling me that uh, when when he introduced you one night, he said it was Tony Miles from, from Sky. From Sky. Wrong band. <laughs> <laughs> Ten thousand people went ooh. Oh. <laughs> but you enjoyed it, yeah. Yeah, it's fabulous too. He's really outrageous, much. isn't he? Really? He is, yeah. yeah. Big and outrageous. So, <laughs> So the new album, it's out now, yeah. in the shops. Tell us about it, where did you actually record it? Well, we, uh, we recorded it in Holland for uh, two or three months. Uh, we finished it, finished it up in London. And, uh, but we wrote most of it in, in LA in, uh, earlier on last year. Uh, Why did you decide to write it, uh, record it in Holland? Well, what, what we really needed was a, a high-tech studio. Um, and all the ones in England were taken up. Yeah. So it was more cost effective to do it in Holland, believe yeah. it or not. Plus the fact it was uh, a nice challenge as well. You enjoyed it. Whereabouts in Holland were you? Just outside Hilverson. Yeah? So you got a new single yeah. from that, Break Down the Walls. Tell us about the video. Oh, the video, it's uh, set in East Germany, isn't it? This, um, this girl meets this spy on a, on a street and he gives her this parcel. And uh, she takes it home and opens this parcel and there's uh, records and things inside there. And, the family are watching a state-approved rock band on the television, aren't they? Yeah, um, they've got the, the mum and dad are played by two wrestlers or two boxers, oh. and they're identical, so <laughs> you can imagine how bad they look. From the ugly agency? Yeah. Whose idea was it to do a video like that? Did you have a say in the storyboard of it? So we did have a say, but yeah. uh, it was basically um, the idea of a director called uh, Dominic Orlando from yeah. New York, right. and uh, he's a smashing guy. He, he, he pretty much got the story of the video worked out. And there was just a few changes here and there to please yeah. RCA and MTV and everybody else, you know, get the Russian element out. <laughs> <laughs> it's got quite a bit of humour in it as well, which yeah. was missing from the last couple of videos. Yeah. Do you actually enjoy making videos? It's hard work. Yeah. It's uh, much harder than doing live concerts. Yeah. Because you have to stand on stage for 13 hours and perform, you know, to the best of your ability. Yeah, this one was like right. smack bang in the middle of the Meatloaf tour as well. Yeah, it was our day yeah. off on the Meatloaf tour. Wow. We woke up in the morning and all our legs. <laughs> and we, had to, we were at the NOC. Where did you actually not. go to film it then? Did it at Astoria on Charing Cross Road. Oh, right, yeah. yeah. Okay, well, I'll have a look at it. You can introduce it to me. Okay, well, this is uh, the first single off our new album, and it's a video called Break Down the Walls. Break Down the Walls from Shy. That's the first single released off their brand new album, Excess All Areas, which is now in the shops. Love the video. Really nice. Well, you you actually worked with Neil Kernan on that album, though, didn't you? That's right, yeah. How did that come about? Well, uh, RCA sort of... Duh. Shut up. Just RCA sort of... Uh, take the time, boys. Yeah. We had uh, a lot of favourite bands at the time, mostly American rock bands, yeah. like Doc and um, Aviator. And uh, he was the guy that did the work on him, and yeah. he was like our top producer of choice, and we managed to get him for nice. the job. It's good to work with him. Fabulous, yeah. 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 Talking of working with people, what about Gary Moore? What's this? I hear you're going to be working with him soon. That's right, yeah, we're off uh, on a, a British and a European tour, so uh, we're going to be very busy for the next few uh, months. So you'll be guesting? That's right, yeah. 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 Support. Do you like touring Europe? Uh, we've never done it before, it's a first. Yeah? First time you've actually been over oh, there? First time we've played abroad at all, yeah. So you'll be able to see what the different audience reactions are. Are you nervous about it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what do you think of the bands, like people like Bon Jovi in Europe, they're supposed to be the sort of cleaner side of heavy metal. How, how do you feel about them? I think they're great. You I like think they're them? opening the door for a lot of English rock bands. That have, uh, I think they've been, a lot of English bands have been waiting for, for um, bigger, it doesn't matter whether they're American or European yeah. bands, to come in and kick the English charts up in yeah. the air and yeah. let the rock in, you know. I think they're doing a great job. That's yeah, interesting. With bands like Anthrax as well getting into the charts. It yeah. opens it up both ways, you see, so uh, it's who you, great. Who do you actually listen to, Steve, when you're at home? Um, Gary Moore. Do you? <laughs> I've got to say that. That's now. handy, isn't it? No. I wonder if you were after the tour. All sorts, all sorts of people. Bon Jovi, Night Ranger, mainly American stuff, but uh, I can't say there's too much in the charts that I listen to, but mm. it's mainly rock music. Nice. Yeah. Well, listen, thanks both of you for coming along today. Thank you. Good luck with the sales of the album. Love the new single. We should be playing it on power after death. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's Def Leppard.